I just got this of a Facebook marketplace for $40. It is totally solid construction. I'm gonna paint this with DIY paint in Marquee. I'd love to put this, the paint in these bottles. I'll link the show notes there. This paint inlay from IOD, the Petite Floor in Paint. First thing you wanna do when you start a dresser with flush drawers is pull the drawers out and paint in between. Paint any railing in between. Paint where the drawers will meet with it. I always forget to do this. Look how thick and wonderful DIY paint is. There's only a little left in the can, but a little goes a long ways. I'm using the Little Dipper paintbrush. It holds a ton of paint. It gets in all the crevices and corners. Let's take a look. Sitting and pulling out a new brush, I decided to use it for the sides. I'm going to get all the details in there. Because these brushes hold so much paint, I was able to complete both sides pretty darn fast. Before we move on, let's take a look at some of the projects I might have upcoming. I dumpster dive all the time. I don't know why I needed this male mannequin, but I thought it'd be fun. I only have a little bit of paint left in the can. Let's work on that top. I like to do really thin coats, especially for the top. Think of when you used to put nail polish on. Thin, even coats, way better than one thick, goopy coat. So I am definitely using my water mister and I switched to the DIY paint smoothie brush. It really spreads that paint so nicely. How do you like my new earrings? Aren't they so cool? When you're removing hardware, be sure to put the screw back in the back of the piece. Put it back in so you don't have a like, bunch of loose screws. Because trust me, I'm speaking from experience. And I have to put it in the bag. And remember where you put that bag. I'm speaking from experience on this too. That's a popcorn maker. I don't know why I have that chair. Look at that cool door. Before I paint drawers, I like to put tape on the edges so I do not get paint in places where it doesn't belong. I'm popping the drawers out, there's still a little bit left in there. I'm going back to my little dipper because there's some carved details. So you can see I'm kind of swirling it around, then I'm brushing through it. DIY paint has no latex or acrylic, so you're not going to get all of these brush marks if you spray it nice and thin, and it's not going to seize up on you, so you can reactivate it and spray it. Go, go, go. DIY paint, good to the last drop. This is the part of the project where I start to sweat, and not because it's a thousand degrees outside. I'm gonna use one of these IOD paint inlays. They are so cool. They're not transfers, they're actually paint. So it comes with four sheets in this one, the Petite Le Fleur in pink. It comes in pink and red. You can reuse them like three times, maybe even four. I've reused them three times because all of the paint that's on each of these sheets does not fully come off when it will look really good, but there's still some good paint on. They're more than a one that, and it's not like an inlay, which are fabulous that sit on top. It's paint, so it embeds right into it. Cut these up, and I'm gonna do one, because remember the hardware goes here, and then I'm going to do the one that's gonna really make me sweat the most. I'm gonna do this one right in the center and add some embellishments, and then this is where I'm gonna need some tweezers and a steady hand, these little teeny flowers. I'm gonna put them all in these little... So in my head, it looks really good. Let's hope it translates, but it's really fun when we are finished with it and we peel it back and it's magic. This is what I do when I run errands. I often drive behind the stores. It looks like there is something up ahead so I'm definitely gonna go investigate as I get closer. I realize it is. When you use the IOD inlays, you want to embed them in wet paint. So I am just spritzing a little bit and putting a thin layer down. Now you wanna spritz the non-painted side of your inlay. I find that it makes it easier to lay down. It's also gridded and once you commit in place, don't move it around because that paint is already activated. You wanna spray it again and make it wet. You can use your fingers or a piece of saran wrap or a wadded up plastic bag. Make sure it is really stuck there. It's going to look translucent. You want to just leave it be. Here, I'm putting the one in the center. Yeah, I'm sweating a lot. I wanna make sure this one is super straight. Adding the swags that will go on the top and the bottom, and then I just need to let it dry. I'm a maximizer. I realized this little carved piece at the bottom needed something surrounding it. I am going around some uneven corners, but I think it's gonna really add that extra detail. A bunch of shopping carts. That's not gonna really be a good cycle. 
I am the kid who always sneaked into my mom's present closet at Christmas to see if I was getting a Barbie townhouse or Barbie van. I did peel it away a little bit just for a sneak peek to see if it was cooking. And the paint is definitely a bedding, but I'm gonna be a good person and leave it alone. I'm gonna take my dog for a walk, have my afternoon energy drink, a Diet Pepsi, and then we'll be back to watch the magic happen. One time I got mistaken for a homeless lady. I was driving when I had a minivan and it was kind of old and I had really gross clothes on and I was throwing stuff in my car from the apartment complex I normally go to. So the next day, I've let this dry overnight. We're gonna re-wet it and pull it off and you're gonna see the magic. And when I explained to the lady why I was there that I look for furniture and I fix it up and resell it, she gave me a whole bunch of stuff and I sold it on Facebook Marketplace just by cleaning it up. This part never gets old. It's like when you're a kid and you have a sunburn and you peel the skin off. This is better. I fit and pull, it's like magic every time what I just pulled off, but I'm going to set it aside and very carefully lay it paint side up because I want to use it again. And remember, you can use these up to three times. you've put all this work into your piece make sure the top is like glass smooth I like to use a 320 grit sandpaper sand it out smooth then I am putting one coat of big top and use long even brush strokes and be sure you check your edges so you don't have drips this piece had holes where casters at one point were, so I ordered some on Amazon. It's really easy to put them in. You just use a hammer and hammer in the holder and then just go through and lightly tap in with a hammer or a mallet the wheels. For the rest of the piece and on top, I'm gonna use clear wax. There's just a teeny bit left, but a little goes a long ways and I'm not gonna waste any. To get a super smooth brush on coat, use a piece of brown paper bag and lightly buff it. It will be like glass. Look at that gorgeous glow. The wax is totally dry and it just needs a light buffing. If you have tried clear wax before and you found it to be difficult to work with, try DIY paint or wax. Typically just use a small amount. This is a four ounce and this will last you quite a while. I do go through a lot of it. So I buy the 13, I carry the 13 and a half ounce, but that's what I would buy if I were using it, you know, multiple projects. But this one's a great starter one and smells really good smells a little bit like honey it's just it's beeswax natural stuff the thing that's so different when I teach workshops people love the clear wax I've tried other expensive brands when I first started there was no other paint brand I went all the way to the Oakland area I live in the San Francisco East Bay to get really expensive European wax from this hardwood store not necessary the stuff is affordable it's so wonderful and that wax was good but number one there's a lot of chemicals in it there's NAFTA and I'm terrible for you to breathe it goes on like butter, sets up really easily, and then you don't have this like uh, 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 sticky feel that you sometimes get from other waxes. If you've tried it, you know what I'm talking about. I like to use a brush. I got mine from Paint Pixie. You can probably find one online. I just go literally just back and forth lightly. And then I like, I'm old school. I like to finish up. Nothing beats a lint-free rag. And I like to just give it a really good, thorough, really shine it up. And it's one of those things that the more you buff it, the dirt it gets. And then going around, I like to just get my finger in there, like really get it good. So I'm gonna buff this up and we're gonna put the hardware back on and it's ready. I love the way this dresser turned out. It was super easy with the DIY paint and the IOD paint inlay. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and check out my blog and website for all the supplies I use. They are listed below. Thanks for watching.